So welcome to this session. Uh, in this session, we introduce the concept of completing the square. Before we do completing the square to quadratic equations or expressions, uh, let's first give the geometric interpretation of what we mean by completing the square. So consider this diagram. So we have a square of length x plus b over two. So let this So I have a square of length x plus b over two. So this distance from here to here is x units, while this distance from here to here is b over two. Similar from here to here, b over two. And then if you extend Uh, this is b over two, and then from here to here is x. If you extend this, uh, this distance, it's also x. Uh, this distance is b over two, this distance, is x. So let's share this area.
So let's say that area. And then uh, this distance is x. This distance is x. This distance is x. <coughs> this distance is x. And then this one is b over 2. This one is b, b over 2. So if I label this one as a, this point b, this b, and then b, So this is B, call this one C, this one D, E, F, and then call this one G, then area, shaded area will be given by area of a g f uh, a g e f so a to g to E to F minus unshaded area of this small square B, C, D, G. So which means area A, G, E, F will be given by X plus B over two squared for this is a, a square at this distance is b over two and then minus area of this small square will be given by b over two then squared so this is the idea that we'll use to uh, carry out completing the squares so Let's be, that mean that now for us to complete the square, then uh, we need to, for us to find the shaded area, then we need to have to get the area of the whole square, big square of sides x plus b over two, and then subtract what has not been added. So this is the same thing as saying, the shaded area or the shaded region in the figure represents the quantity x squared minus b x because the area is x squared plus now you see uh we can as well get this shaded area uh, by interpreting this way if we take this square this square if i call a label uh, uh during the, i call this one area one uh, this area two and this area three so area one would be given by x times x which is x squared area two would be given by this is a rectangle of width 
b over 2 and then length x is the same as b over 2 times x and then area 3 is also a rectangular or a rectangle of length x and with it b over 2 so area 3 is the same as b over 2 times x so plus b over 2 x plus b over 2 x so then so uh by adding the unshaded area or region we feel the largest square the largest square a g now this largest square from a to g g to e e to f so this we say we fill out or complete the square complete the larger square so the area of the unshaded region the area of the unshaded region is given by b over 2 by b over 2 which is the same as b squared over 4. so therefore all these two interpretations b x squared minus b is the same as x squared plus actually this was x squared plus b not minus b so x squared plus b x is the same as b x squared plus b over 2x plus b over 2x similar to this expression here hence x squared plus bx is the same as x squared plus b over 2x plus b over 2x which is the same thing as writing x plus b over 2 squared minus b over 2 squared all these quantities are the same from actually interpreting the areas uh, this shaded area in this figure so therefore uh, let's take now the steps on how to do the completing of squares so steps on completing the squares completing the square for quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero so step one 
simplify and write the quadratic so that the terms in x squared and in x are on the left hand side of the equation and the constant term is on the right hand side of the equation. So simplify and write the quadratic equation so that the terms in x squared and x are on the left hand side of the equation while the constant term is on the right hand side of the equation. Uh, step two, make the coefficient of x squared equals to one by dividing both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x squared. coefficient of x squared. And then number three, so if, if already the equation has coefficient of x squared to be one, you don't have to carry out this step two. Number three, add to each side of the equation a half times coefficient of x and then squared and simplify. So once you have done step one and two, take the coefficient of x, divide by two, square it and add on both sides. Then simplify. Number four, take the square root of each side prefixing plus and minus signs to the right hand side. so that you have two roots and then number five solve for x so those are the steps used for completing the square and the next session we'll do an example to illustrate how the method works thank you <laughs>